All right, we have the Pokemon trainer versus uh, King DDD, the forgotten Pokemon. Oh, shit. There we go. All right, sorry about that. All right, let me see here. Fermit, Fermit is going for that uh, that sucking in power, trying to spike uh, the seventh Hokage Lego, but he missed. Uh, his Gordo is um, is able to hit him pretty well. All right, Lego switched over to his to his Charizard, and Charizard is extremely dangerous. He's sporting a uh, hundred and fifty-five percent. Probably not the best choice right now, it, well, in my limited opinion, as to how to play Pokemon uh, Trainer. But man, does uh, LEGO make uh, Charizard look good. I have a Fermit. He's able to push him off. It will edge guard him pretty well, but Fermit goes flying from Charizard's uh, attack. That grab, and there we go. He's Oh, there we go. Well, for, uh, Fermit is... Extremely heavy. He's able to survive that throw. He's not ready to be thrown out. Answers right back at him and says, you know what? I'm going to throw you out. Very flashy. Very beautiful. Look at that celebrating bit with a little bit of wave dashing. Lego decides to switch to uh, Bulbasaur. Now, if I was him, I'd probably switch back to Charizard or not, Ivysaur at least. Um, they have more kill power. But uh, he knows what he's doing. Bam. Alright, Firm is not letting up. He's staying at that perfect distance, waiting for an opening, waiting very patiently. And his patience is paying off very well. But that uh, throw from the, from Lego is going to do it. And the score is now 1-2 to two with uh, Fermit in the lead. Hmm. Wow, that fort smash really stumped that turtle. That baby turtle. Poor turtle. Oh, the side aerial. Dang, nice. That Gordo, <laughs> oh dang! And there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on here. He sucked in that leaf, the uh, razor leaf, and threw it right back at him. Let's let's go, Lego. Lego's back in Charizard. He's ready to uh, try to hurt him. All right, first round goes to uh, Fermit. Round one. And the second round is starting. Oh, seventh, uh, Lego has decided to switch into um, 
Ganondorf over here. Excuse me, I was uh, grabbing a bag of M&Ms. And Ganondorf is so fast in this game. Spartan kick. Throws him right off. Uh, that falling uh, <laughs> hammer missed, but... Man, it would have been so cool if he hit it. That would have killed him right then and there. All right, that was a little uh, flub right there from Lego. All right, Fermit is going in there, capitalizing on his, on that advantage. Just floating around, ready to uh, just land on top of him with his big belly. And Goro uh, really hit him right there, nearly killed him. This one will do it. One more. And there it is. All right. One for Fermit. Score is uh, two to three. Right, Ephraim is playing very smart, keeping that uh, neutral. Bang. Oh, it looked like he was just about to uh, roll the other way. That was a little bit of a fake out. Oh, uh, from a try to eat Ganondorf, but that was proved to be a big mistake. Just like that one. That hammer was a big mistake as well, and that little punch from Ganondorf nearly killed him. From his sporting 188% uh, damage, he's ready to be killed. But at the moment, it seems, um, seems from it might win this. Uh, don't count him out, you know, as we know in this game. This ga the things could change very quickly. And there we go. One life to one life, but uh, not looking too good for Lego at the moment. He's got him, uh, got him out there pretty well. Ouch! All right, another Gordo. Third Gordo, bang! Surely he won't do it a seventh time. Ouch! All right, now that uh. Lego has his feet on the ground. He saw that opportunity and he smacked him in the face. Good job, uh, good job with Lego, man. That was amazing. Right, score is now 1 1. Beautiful. <laughs> it did. Oh my god, man. All right. Back to this game. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that, by the way. Okay. All right. At the, for the moment, Fermit is uh, dominating this match. He scored already 67% damage. He's playing very safe, as he always does. Scored 82% damage. Ganondorf is not looking very happy at the moment. Oh, those side airs from Ganondorf, uh, they cover a lot of distance. All right, but... Lego's got to play very safe. Uh, he's, he has firm at kill percentage. Nice little wizard punch. Nice little uh, up tilt. And there we go. Lego took the took the round. Uh, well, the stock. I mean. <coughs> All right. 
Lego right now has to play it very safe. If he lets up for one moment, Fermik could uh, take the match. Oh, and there you go. Fermik came back. Anyone's game still? Is that moment when everything is on the line that everyone, everyone plays just that much better? That's what makes comebacks. That's what makes those amazing plays and games. And right now, this entire match is just like that. Ganondorf is sporting at a 103%. Oh, Fermit's at 75, and he's got him uh, at the ledge. Got him guarded there pretty well, and uh, I believe one more Gordo is going to do it for him. Or oh, that side air. That Gordo was a trap. All right. Uh, Fermit's adrenaline. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Lego's adrenaline is uh, running right now. He's ready to do. He's ready to do a match. I'm oh, sorry, one second. All right, uh, I'm going to jump off because I have a match, so one minute. There you Can Lego make the comeback? Oh! 